What's up YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, hit that like button right now, man. I really would appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop those comments below. It really encourages me to see all the feedback. I appreciate you guys for everything that you're doing to support the channel. If you want to continue to support the channel, the links to our website and Cash App are in the description. Also, if you want to book me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, that link is in the description. Also, it's in the first comment. Let's get it, family. I want to talk about the power of exposure. See, when God exposes you to certain things, He's doing it to inspire you, not to provoke jealousy within you. See, sometimes when people see people with things that they don't have, like a, like a better car than them, a better house, a better marriage, um, better material things, better children, uh, better education, a lot of times people see that and it causes jealousy and it causes them to covet. But the reason God lets those people get into our vicinity, um, just say if God lets you see a person who pray more than you, who who is more committed to living right, who is more committed to holy living, who is more committed to reading the Bible, it's not to make you jealous of that person. It's actually to inspire you. Exposure is meant to inspire, not to provoke jealousy. I think about Peter in the Bible how when Peter saw Jesus walking on water, it inspired him to walk on water. And just look at the power of exposure. Peter had been a fisherman his whole life, but it never occurred to him that he can walk on water until he was exposed to Jesus doing it. And so when God allows these things to come into your life, the proper response to that exposure is to be inspired. And the negative response to that is to be jealous or to covet. You know, the reason we shouldn't be jealous of people is because we don't know the price they paid to get there. We don't know what it took for them and what they had to give up in order to achieve that goal. You know, exposure is just powerful because it shifts your mindset. You know, when I got around different people who thought differently and who thought big about certain things, it shifted my mindset. Even right now, guys, and I say this humbly as I know how, I'm in Austin, Texas, and this hotel is five, six hundred dollars a night. And to a lot of, and initially when I first used to be around people who paid that much for a hotel, it would be like, man, that's a lot of money. I would never spend it on a hotel. But then I start to get exposed to different people and they start giving me the game on how to write certain things off and how to network when you come to these places and and the beauty of doing these things. And it shifted my mind when I got around people who showed me, man, you know, some people are praying for one or two hours a day. Some people are getting up early in the morning before they, they start just to pray. Some people are committed to reading the Bible for two hours a day. And you start to get around people and expose yourself to different things. Because what we do, because it's human nature, right, to hang with people who are just like us. Hang with people with the same political affiliation. Same um hang with people with the same mindsets, the same culture. But in order to grow, you got to get out of your comfort zone because sometimes the comfort zone is the kill zone. So with Abraham, God had to get him out of his comfort zone in order to become the father of many nations, right? So what I'm trying to say is that sometimes God got to stretch you because when Jesus was on the cross, they stretched him because sometimes purpose stretches you. And we have to come to this realization that everything stretching me ain't killing me. And when you expose yourself to different type of people and different atmospheres, what it does is it expands your horizons and it makes you think differently and it makes you have better critical thinking skills and deductive reasoning becomes very efficient because you say, you know what? You start to take in all points of view and not just points of view you heard from people that you loved or from people that you are kin to or related to. And so when I think about exposure, when Jesus called his disciples, he was exposing them to a new level of power. He was exposing them 
to what ministry can could look like. He was exposing them to a way of life. That's why he told them, if you follow me, I'll make you fishers of men, Peter and Andrew. Because right now, all you're doing is fishing in this ocean. But if you follow me, I can give you another perspective and you can fish for souls. And so I want to just encourage you guys with this thought. I have black friends and I have white friends. I have Asian friends. I have all different type of color friends and they all give me different perspectives. And sometimes we got to get out of what's comfortable. You know, I read a stat that said that I think like 80% of people never uh, move out of their hometown where they were from. And there's nothing wrong with living where you're from, but it does speak to a greater point. And that greater point is that when something is comfortable, people tend to not want to leave it. Just think about whenever change has to take place, it's always met with resistance from the civil rights movement to the women's suffrage movement to any movement throughout history. When things were one way and they had to change, it was always met with resistance. So the point I'm trying to say is that Guys, get out and expose yourself to different things. Get out of your city and expose yourself to other cities. Um, shift your circle a little bit, man. Get around people who think differently because it will help you to grow. So when Jesus chose his disciples, if you look at all his disciples, they all had distinctly different personalities. Peter was more impulsive. John was more sensitive. Matthew was a you know, former tax collector. Just, just look at the different people he had and he had all these different personalities and all these different perspectives in order to have effective ministry. Expose yourself to different things and you will see different results. Have an awesome day, guys.